Hi, we're going to talk about phonics this week, and today's topic is the OR sound. This is for a week of April the 20th through the 24th. There is going to be three spelling patterns for the sound OR. It's going to be spelled O-R, that will say OR. It also will be spelled O-R-E, that one's going to say OR. And then it's going to be spelled with O-A-R, that one's going to be OR. So we're going to have three ways of doing OR this week. Let's start with the first one, with the O-R. These words are going to have the O-R spelling of OR. Well, we start off with that word, and it is or. Do you want an apple or a banana? It's giving you a choice. How about this one? Four. This is for you. I know it sounds like the number four, but remember the number four is F-O-U-R. This one is just F-O-R. Now we've got that one, born. The kittens were born yesterday. What's that one? Short. That child is short. It's a measurement word. How about that one? Torn. My shirt got torn yesterday. Say that one. Form. What form is that? Is it a triangle? A rectangle? A cube? Form. How about this one? Torch. I used a torch in the dark cave so I could see. Torch. This one is pork. Pork is a meat that comes from a pig. Pork. And our last OR word, OR is worn. My shoes are all worn out. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now this spelling pattern is going to be the O-R-E. It's still going to say or, but we're going to see them in words with the O-R-E. Let's start it off. What is that? More. I would like some more ice cream, please. More. How about this one? Store. I want to go to the store. And this one? Core. All that was left of the apple I ate was the core. Chore. I have a chore that I must do every day, and that is wash dishes. Your chore. This one. Chore. My pants tore. And this one? Snore. My husband says I snore at night. I'm not sure he's telling me the truth. But I have a feeling he is. All right. School. 
score? What was the score of the basketball game when they finished? How about this one? Shore. I walked along the shore and picked up some seashells. And our last one, sore. My foot is sore being in those new shoes. All right, take a look at these, O-R-E. If you notice, they're all ending with that. Now we have a spelling pattern that is gonna be the O-A-R. When you see O-A-R in the word, you're gonna say the sound or, putting all those letters together for our new spelling pattern. Or, let's try it out. What is that word? Boar, that's a pig, another name for a pig. How about this one? Roar, that's what a lion does. That lion sure did have a big roar. And this, board. I need another board so I can finish making the wall. How about this one? Oh, we just did a part of this word, but we've got a new letter up here. A board. When the conductor wants people on the train, he's gonna say, all aboard. How about this one? Soar. That's what a bird does in the sky. When they're floating, they're, they can soar, it's up in the air. Not the other one we had on the other page where it was soar, the S-O-R-E. That one meant your foot was sore, something on your body was sore. This soar is in the sky, floating in the sky. This is coarse. That fabric was coarse, which means it was rough, not as smooth as we probably would like it. Oh, we've seen part of this word already. It's got roar in it, uproar. An uproar is when you're upset about something. You put an uproar. Oars. Those are those paddles that you use to row a boat. I use both of the oars to row my boat. Oh, we've seen part of that one. Or, that would just be one of them. Not the O-R, which means you want an apple or a banana. This is a, is a paddle for a boat, another kind of or. All right, these were the three spelling patterns for the sound or. Remember, it could be O-R, O-R-E, or O-A-R. So as you're reading the words and you see those spelling patterns for the sound or, remember they all say or. All right, now it's time to practice working with these spelling patterns for the or sounds. You'll need to go to your phonics practice page, whether it's at home. So if I look at the top and find phonics, and then where it says O-R, or. Or if you're online, Go back over to your student work section and complete that page. All right, good luck, guys. I know you can do it.